Welcome to part seven of my building the Flying Dutchman. I've made a little bit of progress and I'm having to make some challenging decisions on what I'm going to do regarding the planking of the sides of the ship. I'm getting to the point where I'm concerned about putting too many things on the upper decks because I'm gonna to have to twist and turn the ship to put the planks on. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is probably start working on planking. I've got the grates done. Um, I've added some additional lighting, some things like that. So let me go through what I accomplished up to today. And then maybe by the end of the video on the closing, I will have made a decision on when I'm going to start planking. This is an area where I disagree with the instructions. It does have you build these, paint these walls, it does not show the doors installed until a good two pages later and then it shows you build them and putting them in place. I'm building them now. I'm going to put them on even before I put the walls in place. This is my first time ever making grates using the parts. It wasn't difficult. Uh, I did take a, um, oh, like a dental pick and put a little adhesive specifically wood glue in not every one of these little cutouts, but you know, every, the two ends for sure, and a few in the middle. Uh, then you have to cut them down to certain shapes. And then you apply the outer framing. And I struggle, I never can measure twice and cut once. Mine are always a little off. You can see this is a little short. There's a little tiny gap there. So what I have decided to do, even though it provides you the measurements, and they are right, it's just I'm terrible at being exact on cuts, is I over cut it. So each one of these pieces of black walnut extended past where I wanted it to be, glued them on, and then I take them over to a sander and sand off the edge so I have it straight. And I'll do the same thing now. I'll take this black walnut and I'll just cut it a little long and then I'll go back and sand off the ends or the edges and then I have it right. That's just me. I'm just terrible at cutting. Remember when I said I struggle with measuring twice and cutting once, I actually messed these up and I was very concerned that I didn't have enough to finish the project. I also tried using one of the stains that came in the kit just at random and it ended up being kind of an orangish red like a redwood. After I attempted that stain I decided I didn't like that it was too light so I went back with my black cherry and you can see I have it on there now but I went into panic mode because I didn't think I was going to have enough of these after I made some cutting errors but as it turns out, there were plenty extra. I still have a few in the bag. But in my panic, I went ahead and made these on a laser cutter that I recently uh, acquired. And I was pretty amazed how well this did. Oh, you can't see because it's a mess over here. But that's the laser cutter and this is it doing its thing. Here the grates are in place. This one will be removable. It has some little catches so that you can take it in and out. I have it a little snug, so I'll get it right where it goes. There we go. These I'll probably glue down right now. They're just sitting in the place where they go. This sidewall for the cannon ports in place. This is where I use the black cherry and I'm going to continue to try and get it darker. And if I have to, I'll mist it with a, a uh, black spray paint. I'd mentioned that I had put a copper roof on this little outbuilding or roof structure. There's an opening beneath that that goes down to the lower deck. I've darkened the copper a little bit. 
purposely left this door cracked open. This I think is too light and actually in this lighting, it looks more blue than gray. I'm gonna work on darkening all of these walls. I'm giving serious consideration to using this to plank the hull. These are bamboo strips. They were not expensive at all. They happen to be the same thickness as the original planks that I accidentally used for decking. So I'm sure I won't have enough. They are a little bit wider, but I don't think that that will matter when it comes to putting them on the ship. The challenge will be, can I bend them enough? It says they're bendable. So I'm gonna experiment with that in the next several days. And another thing that I'm going to change, and I'm gonna try for the first time, instead of using nails to nail the, the planks on the outer hull, I just ordered a trunnel kit which will make wooden pegs to replace the nails. That'll be a little more authentic, and I think it, it'll be an interesting challenge. We'll see how it works. I placed the order with modelexpoonline.com. I purchased from them before. I actually purchased this ship from them. I'll let you see it when it comes in. Got this final deck in place. I've got some more pieces that will go on back here. We'll tie into that, maybe this direction. Haven't decided yet. I'll figure it out here shortly. This turned out to be a little bit interesting. This piece here, I decided, let me take it off so you can see it. I decided to pre-assemble it because I knew that would get it matched up just right. And I kept trying to force it all the way to here. I even filed this or sanded this down a little bit until I noticed there's little notches here and here that match up to this uh, framing that's the same size. So in reality, it did not need to come as forward as far as what I was trying to get it. So if I match it up by this, then it's pretty much gonna work. Then I'll match it up here. I'm gonna have to, you know, hold it in a little bit, but that will get it just where it's supposed to be. With that being said, while I put that on, since you now know what it's going to look like, I'm going to go ahead and end this session. That gives you an idea of what that back piece is going to look like. I think this is a good point for me to uh, go ahead and, and get this published on YouTube. That will end part seven of my building, The Flying Dutchman. This is Boiler Dan 1.